This one over here's gonna crash because that's the, the main account. This one over here. He's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic, and people want to put a little contact on it. Really well done. Yeah, this is the Carolina attorney, Fayetteville. Tunes or something. all around him so the only play was to try and get out of there I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage possible run anticipation here is the D line sandwiches together Gabriel the man in motion on second down Ryan Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here. Yeah, I like Mo. Quarter. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. I'm with you, stick work. I like him. <coughs> Sliding out of the pocket. Oh, dang. he throws there, incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Off it's going to go for this on the opening drive. Gabriel, the man in motion. Now it's Ryan. It's caught. Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And that's the connection, Ryan to Jones, that this defense obviously has to key in on. It certainly feels like they got the party started with that one, doesn't it? And with those two getting sick, it just scares the heck out of defenses because he can hit Julio Jones in a short zone, and he can take it the whole way. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball the game to yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he gets us inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick, yeah, shot, right. can make moves, make people miss, yeah, right. but also gets to and through a hole before. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Gabriel, the man in motion. To throw is Ryan. He's got time in the pocket. Hits his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one oh, remaining. Yeah, and this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third What you mean, big kept? Too quiet. I'm still here, Bo. Yeah, that's not a pretty nice. They toss to Freeman. 
Lakewood, no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. On every snap, the defense is trying to establish who they are, but on third and short, some Madden commentary. Really when you put it out there and tell people well, as you can see, they're exactly picking their plays. All right. They're uh, getting on that depth chart. What they did for the offense, they're looking at their offensive line and saying, guys, where are you? We need you on those plays. They're keeping the punter on the sideline. They're going to go for it here on the opening drive. What playbook is he using? I don't know, man. Siwoo is not here, bro. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. Oh. It's caught by Tammy. It is in the... Got in the red. We've already established Mo is on offense. We've already established him. Oh, damn. Finally, we got a touchdown. Fine. See one house arrest. Oh, no. We got ball. Hey. Mo got ball. <laughs> Thank you, Misery. I feel you. They're more concerned about the point after touchdown than actually missing regular field goals. So maybe the coach is taking some pressure off here and just going for two and saying, I'm saving you for the big stuff later. He's hanging out by the net. No, it's not lagging, Sonnen. Mo is winning right now. I'm not going to kill his concentration. Yeah, you're right. 20 bands came by a whole lot, man. Tell him. A car, a trailer, and a lot. He's going to get his man out of the backfield. Just a one I know that one at 20. I want to be going home. I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> Gabriel, the man in motion. Ryan. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion. But they put themselves in the oh, spot yeah. where you got to at least think about going for it. Oh, yeah. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? And how about this one now? Yeah, Madden is life. This is definitely Madden 18. Evan, you got it yet? It's already out. <laughs> Let him know, Stance. Born and raised in North Carolina. God dang. Oh my god. He caught that. Julio 
Jones. 66 yards. And now the Falcons are within a two-point conversion of tying up the game. Now Matt Bryant on for the point after. <laughs> He's got it, so they take just the one here, and that makes it an 8-7 yeah, game. They, they <laughs> Mo's chilling, Jay. Don't get on. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting. And that was amazing because that drive went and went and no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Mo's red, so he is. Uh, that was so hot. <sighs> Most wanted. That, that's really inappropriate. Feel me? Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Falcons in possession to begin quarter number two, and they've got it here with a first down. Wow. Most wanted, please. Don't do it to him. Whoa. What the heck? Oh my god. So, uh... He really does space team. So, uh, fumbled it all the way back to a touchdown. That's pretty cool. Teletubb. Dang. Right. Yeah, Jeff. What did he do? Made him Ooh. slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. <laughs> is that all one emote, or is that like a separate? Uh, Mo's got ball right now. Mo's down. They don't gotta sit down if they don't want. Oh. It's starting to get cold in here. Oh, I hear you, Shuddy. Gabriel, the man in motion. Here's Ryan. 
Yes, we are uh, in the second stream skimbo. That's the they're going to the finals, and then we probably got about three or four more games after this, and then we should be done. To be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation, but they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on, or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Going underneath, it's Coleman. Eleven yards on the pickup, and that leads to an Atlanta first down. <coughs> Looks like the defense in press coverage here. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Who is in the finals? Read the pressure. Hey, it's going to let A. True it. True it. Running back usually a good spot to go with the football. Without a doubt, because he's red in your sight line. Hey, but he's near you. So we do have a good point. Mo has ball right now. Mo's red. That's a good matchup for him. Mo's down. Gabriel, the man in motion. Now Ryan. And this is Gabriel oh. the catch. And he's brought down. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Oh. Slam routes effective no matter what. He's running around, catching the ball. When you have a receiver, <sighs> down, you have to be able to be precise throwing it. He don't have the same yeah, catch radius with the bigger targets. We had a celebrate clock. Ain't no good. And um, they was using it. So, the wide receiver moving to a new spot. Don't hit him with that, most wanted. Yeah, to do uh, a spindle thing. Out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense. Hold them to one yard on a first down run. Yeah, Be but, um, to see if the offense decides that was to press the run at all, um, or if they'll abandon the it now after doing, gaining um, only one on that play. Um, only no Skimbo. Okay, well, um, the dude that Skimbo was playing, he was at 12-3. Yeah, it looks like this will likely was be the last play, play before we get the two minute warning. Let's see if they can sneak one more good play in before the two minute signal. But really, he done, he done left and went home. He done lost now. He done went home. So second Are you talking about the, the guy in the, in the purple shirt? Yeah, yeah. 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 He complained about every single game that he played with. Nah, so he was the black guy. Nah, if, um, nah. He was winning. He was winning. He was winning. Winners is over in the other stream. Winners is with Skimbo. Skimbo's in finals waiting for, yeah, this is semi losers yeah you got it right uh what's your name big cap skimbo is undefeated joe's still playing uh no he's still got his hand in his pocket yeah i think he is playing ken is, is the, the dude ken? okay yeah he's playing ken no it's not nick it's ten um they come out here in the eye. Yeah. Yeah. Skimbo. Skimbo. <laughs> <laughs> Who beat W? Who is W? I don't even know. Boogs beat W. Rando. Uh, I know he lost to Figgy. Haven't heard anything since. Who beat Cause? Who beat Cause? Wasn't that, um... Wasn't that Figgy? Yeah, Figgy beat Cause. Figgy beat Cause. Who beat Cause? Wasn't that, um... Was that Mo that beat Cause? Skimbo's in the game with Kimbo. Yeah. Oh, my bad, I forgot to catch up in the What? It was like the jersey. Let's just get it first down and start this Well, um, I think, um, Ken, hold on. He just said, he said, you got it great. Yeah, I still don't have any followers on Instagram. What's up with that? Yeah, 200 people in here. Figure out one person. Yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately 
taken down at the line of scrimmage. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And Ken, and Ken is um, white. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Great, you're here for me. Point away from moving out in front. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. To throw is Ryan steps away now he'll let it go on the run deep left side and they went big on first down proves unfruitful well i guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game huh no they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot one shot trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him and on second and ten now and on the outside they're playing press coverage Second and ten. It's Ryan again. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So completion on second down. That brings up third. All right, I'm back. I'm here. Don't call it a night. Oh, flipping like Goss. Now Ryan. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, <laughs> says the side judge. And that's good oh, enough for a first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he Yeah, Ronnie, catch, I'm trying to... Tell this to the shot. Sporty, shut the hell up. To get his feet down in bounds. Take what the hell are you, Jason? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, talk hey about Sporty me? late. Hey, he said shut the hell up. <laughs> On first and ten, it's Ryan. It's caught. Left side, Tammy. <laughs> a gain of six Someone hugged that. <laughs> That cop kind of does need a hug. I just want wait. No matter what, I want to. Uh, he really can't hide what you're doing. And I dang, right Jay. There, he knew right away that hit deep. I don't think so. Great. I'm ready to pack it up and go home. I'm go out and get a nice meal. Go home. So, do we know who all is going to be in that? Like, any big names? I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. The top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs. In this case, the feet did a little toe Jay Z. To stay in bounds and complete the catch. Got a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. He goes underneath the Freeman. Give him three on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. Yeah, it is so many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. 
No, this is not Kingdom Hall. This is the Crown Coliseum in Fayetteville. Say it, man. So kick it through to take the lead. There is a little bit of time left, though, here in the second quarter. And while they're concerned about not giving up a big return or giving up points themselves going into the half, how good do they feel, though, putting points on the board themselves right near the end of the first half? Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set. You're almost done. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Twice. 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 This the nah, nah, nah. It's not the one that's found. They snap it at one. Now Ryan. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. That'll be the end of half time now. Okay, so yeah, this guy's yeah, just sitting there, right? He's got like 30 hot noises in front of him. And what's up? <laughs> that's the outcome. Yeah, bro, we're in a church. You caught us. We're doing this stream in a church. You see the curtains off to the left. That's the that's the stage that the pastor gets on. Singing in the church. They got the church chairs. They see the food window in the back. <laughs> pastor pork chop coming out. You got the stage curtains off to the left. Yeah, it's a double elimination. Mm. And he takes it down deep into Atlanta territory. Now all these people are here for community service. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, I know from experience, everything's hurt. Oh my god. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit a big over the top. You gotta run and go get some more food. Now inside the run zone, the offense will operate. Come on. Gabriel, the man in motion. No, the other t game is still going. They're in the fourth quarter. It's, uh, I'm giving the link now. That is where Skimbo was playing. So when that game finishes, the loser will be going over to the top of the loser bracket, and the winner, this one, will be going to the final. Gabriel, the man in motion. On second down, Ryan. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, Mo is uh, red. Zone when you decide to blitz him, because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for somewhere. him. I don't 
think that was his Aren't primary right? target. But I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was going <laughs> from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. I'll go outside. Nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. <laughs> Third and two, now Ryan. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. In motion left goes Jones. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. He's got Sanu. It's a gain of five. And the decision to go for it pays off. They've got a first and goal. Well, the feel that I get on this is that they felt like three was just not going to be enough after getting this deep into their territory. And Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, but it didn't even look like they hesitated there. They knew they wanted to go for it. That tells me that during the week, they were thinking about these situations, and they feel like maybe they're just the better team, and they want to go ahead and prove it conclusively. Let's up by three. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. My high school coach, John Ford, used to say all the time, if you're in a bad situation, laddie, don't compound it with a bad decision as well. And I think that's what we just saw there. Harassed in the pocket. And he throws him a double coverage anyway. He called you Laddie? He called me Laddie, and that was the nicest thing he called me. And from the three now, it's second and goal. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Calling a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. And quickly, they get to the line. Oh, oh my God, is what is going on? To losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight yard line. A loss of eight on the play and it brings up four. All I can say about this one is that to me, this is a collective breakdown. Offensive oh, line oh knows. You talk about short yeah, yards, you talk about trying to pick up inches here to get the first down. So all they want to do is just the, the, the tiniest wedge. To What's up, Ribble? Give a guy a chance to get there. Well, that doesn't really happen. And then the second part is, you're always taught to get straight up field on these plays when you're a runner. Somehow, he doesn't get there. The only thing I can say is maybe he got confused. Sometimes you get turned around real fast and you get confused. And instead of heading where you were supposed to, just get what you can out of the play. He ends up losing a tremendous amount of yardage. And he's brought down after a good game. They'll get 23 yards there. And it'll be first down Atlanta. Wow, wow, nice run. Oh, man. Good shit. Yeah, Mo is on offense right now. Gabriel the man in motion. On second down, here's Ryan. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back now in Atlanta. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set. Two minutes left. 
Possible run anticipation. Here's the D-line sandwiches together. Yeah, there we go. I heard about it. Gabriel, the man in motion. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. It's caught left side. Tammy, the completion good for three and it's second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not not super huge. Maybe yeah, not counted on to be that in-line point of attack yeah, blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him yeah, out. You can run man. wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. Now we're on second oh, down. Man, man. Drops it off for Coleman. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that'll bring up a third down. So many times you hear the <coughs> described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner. Get him out in the flat and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Gabriel the man in motion. Ryan will throw again. And that is incomplete. He come to play. And I think the end result, knocking the ball away, was a product right. of understanding where they were on the field. Up. Understanding how many yards they needed to pick up the first down. And tightening <laughs> their money, you feel it. Gave him no gaps, time no you spaces, have. no real air in which to catch the football and end up making a really nice play. You don't even touch that. Ryan surveying the field. He's going to oh, fire I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Or it looked like he had or, it and um, dropped it. And the Falcons defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive yeah, last time. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. Well, let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get it. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? To throw is Ryan. And he's got his man in stride, complete. That throw good for four. Good second down. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It's really come into vogue to talk about the, the different gaps that the defense tries to attack in an offensive line. And most of the time we're talking about blitzes. How many times have you heard double A gap blitz? But where is the A gap? It's the space between the center and the guard to either side. So when you're having a double A gap blitz, there's two guys coming through that gap. In this situation, though, that A gap wasn't open for the defense to exploit. The offensive line took care of it, protected it, and moved the defensive guys out of the way to allow for that nice run. Oh, he caught it. Just couldn't get the feet down. Couldn't get that toe tap sequence, right? I was ready to call him tippy toes if that one was completed. On second down, Freeman. And he takes it down to the fourth with a pickup of four. Brady Jarrett with the tackle. Who's up? Probably like um, about three, three or four. The skin go up. Um, it's about to be game, but yeah, he's winning. Skin go up. Is Joel still in? Who? Joel. No, he's in a losing bracket. Yeah, Joel is in a losing bracket. So third down and the Falcons going with a down uh, of six defensive backs. Game is over and Skimbo takes it.
From the gun on third down, Ryan. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And the Falcons now making their way back out onto the field. And this offense last time turned it over when Ford on fourth didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. Yeah, say maybe makes yeah, that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Gabriel, the man in motion. Back to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Yeah, no, that was a nice run man. slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And the wide out in motion. They'll look to throw. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now, what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. They can't be over in like 30 seconds. They'll give it to him right off the gut. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right the there. Loser. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one. You know, the Falcons going to use another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So third down. They need to get to the 28 for a first. Going to give this time to the tailback. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. So an important try here, and play is stopped here. Timeout, it's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Oh my God. situations it pays dividends and that's great vision by the organization when the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball would you rather have a street free agent out there or a solid pro like this it's just pretty evident to me yeah you're talking to it you're talking to it aren't you what you're talking into it
defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Back to throw. He goes underneath to Freeman. It's a gain of 21 that time. And that leads to an Atlanta first down. Well, how about keeping your head about you in this situation? No more timeouts. Finds a way to get out of bounds. Now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down. Freeman on first and ten. Stays on his feet. 